In our today's session, we would like to discuss some common scars that appear in the cardiovascular system in MRCP patients exam. So let's have a look. So in brief, these are the scars that commonly appear in the cardiovascular station. You can find the scar of implantable electronic device, scar for minimal invasive surgery, median sternotomy scar, left thoracotomy scar, scar for chest drain tube, and right thoracotomy scar. Now, if you find a median sternotomy scar, what you need to do, you have to check for the vein harvesting scar in the hands or leg first. If you find any vein harvesting scar, then the diagnosis is coronary artery bypass grafting. But if you can't find any vein harvesting scar in the hands or leg, so the diagnosis are two. That is, one could be prosthetic heart valve, another could be coronary artery bypass grafting with internal memory graft. So, if you find a median sternotomy scar only and your diagnosis is a possibility of prosthetic heart valve, then you have to check for certain things. At first, you have to check for which sort of valve has been used, whether it is tissue valve or mechanical, mechanical valve. If you find a, a metallic click, then the diagnosis would be mechanical heart valve prosthesis. If you find, if you can't find any prosthetic click, so the diagnosis would be tissue or bioprosthetic heart valve. Then you have to check for certain things that whether the valve is working or not. So you have to check for the pedal edema, you have to check for the crepitations in the lungs, you have to check for the features of heart failure, or you have to check for uh, infective endocarditis and you will have to listen carefully for a regurgitant murmur. So if this signs are present, you can say that the valve is not working well. Now uh, these are the scars that we can find in the vein harvesting scar in the leg. Now, if you find a midline sternotomy plus a lateral thoracotomy scar, so don't get puzzled. There are four differentials for that. It could be coarctation repair, TOF repair, VSD repair, and metallic mitral valve replacement with previous valvoplasty. Now, if you find a subclavicular scar or a infraclavicular scar, which is mostly common in the left part of the chest, then the diagnosis would be uh, pacemaker or implantable cardiac defibrillator that is ICD. Now, if you find a lateral thoracotomy scar, which is very much uncommon in a cardiovascular station, but it can come, so you have to check for other signs like radial pulse and scar, clubbing and cyanosis, and any systolic murmur. And what are the other indications? They are mitral valve replacement, mitral valvotomy, coarctation repair, and BT shunt. Now, if you find a inframemory scar or submemory scar, which is most commonly found in the left part of the chest and which is commonly used for mitral valve, so it is actually done for the commissurotomy of the heart valve, also called valvulotomy, valvotomy, valvuloplasty, or valvoplasty. Now, if you find a scar like 2 to 3 inch in length in the right part of the chest, in and around the nipple, and along the anterior axillary line, so the scar is for minimal invasive mitral valve replacement. These are the other variations of minimal invasive mitral valve replacement scar. You can find a horizontal scar in the sternum, a linear scar over the manubrium, and these are the other varieties. So why the minimal invasive heart surgery? It is because uh, to cause the reduced trauma to the body, less pain and scarring, less need for blood transfusion, and Obviously, it can achieve a faster recovery and less blood loss. So, in short, these are total the common scar that usually come in the MRCP patients exam. So, hope you have to practice it a lot to get well in this station. So, if you want to see our next videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel that is Spaces Care and stay connected on Facebook by clicking on www.facebook.com/spacescare. Stay safe, stay healthy and thank you all.